Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Roku video doorbell and Chime SE and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on the doorbell. Now you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this doorbell not working properly, not connecting, um, if it's not ringing, all kinds of stuff like that, um, if it's not pairing with your devices, a hard reset can fix a lot of those issues. Um, the second reason is if you're setting this up in a new home or just whatever reason, you want to get it back to the way it was when it came out of the box. We can do this really quite easily. Um, so all you're going to need to do, you're going to, want to, you're going to need to have access to the doorbell and also the chime because once you do the reset on the, on the doorbell part, you're going to have to reset it up with the chime. Um, but anyways, so if you're ready to do that, what you want to do is you want to unmount it so you can access the back of it while keeping it connected to the power. And you're going to come up to the top here and find this reset button at the very top. And you're just going to press um, the reset button. And when you press the reset button, then you're just going to wait for the doorbell to restart. Once that happens and it restarts, you will hear it say, ready to connect. And then you will see this uh, status light over here flashing in yellow. Um, now, once you do that, then you're going to want to go over to the... Um, you know, plug in your chime if it's not already plugged in, and then you're going to go and hold, press and hold the setup button for about five seconds until you hear it say reset successfully. Once that you've done that, everything is reset, and then you can just go ahead and set everything up as a new device. 